Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes it's helpful to understand or at least to have memorized some of the square roots of some of the smaller and simpler numbers. It helps us understand the mathematics a little bit better because every time we have to go to a calculator and punch things in, we kind of lose the flow of what we're trying to comprehend. So it's not a bad idea to kind of take a look and see what some of the square roots are of some of the smaller numbers. And again, the concept is here that since I, uh, 1 squared equals 1, the square root of 1 equals 1, or since 2 squared equals 4, the square root of 4 equals 2, and so forth. So you can see that the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 36 is, is 6, so forth, because 6 squared gives us back the original number 36. And then if you take a look at the numbers, notice that we have the square root of 25, the square root of 36, the square root of 49, and so forth. And you can see now that the trend continues. Here we have the square root of 121 is 11, the square root of 144 is 12, the square root of 169 is 13, and so forth. So it's not a bad idea to at least be somewhat familiar with all these square roots all the way maybe up to 1024. The square root of 1024 is equal to 32 because 32 times 32 is indeed the square root of 1024. Now you may notice something interesting. There's a pattern here. Notice that the square root of 1 is 1. If we now add 3 to 1, we get 4. If we add 5 to 4, we get 9. If we add 7 to 9, we get 16. If we add 9 to that, we get 25. Add 11 to that, we get 36, and so forth. And the pattern simply continues. For example, we note that the square root of 225 is 15. Now, if we add 29 to that, we get 256, which is the square root of 16. If we add 31 to that, we get 289 and that's the square root of 17. If we add 33 to that, we get 324, and the square root of that is 18. Add 35 to that, we get 361, the square root is 19. Add 39 to that, we get 400, the square root is 20. And that's an interesting pattern that can come in very handy. If, for example, if you remember what the square root of 225 is, being 15, then it's very easy to know then by adding 31 that the square root of 256 is equal to 16. Where does that come from? From the general formula here. Notice that the square root of n squared is equal to n, and then if we take the square root of one number that's bigger, we get n squared plus 2n plus 1. So in other words, let's say we have the square root of 25 that's equal to 5, if we now double this number and add 1 to that, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11, we add that to get the next number for which we take the square root, which gives us then the next integer. Again, double 6, which is 12, plus 1 gives us 13, add that to 36, we get 49, the square root of 49 is equal to 7. Double 7, we get 14, plus 1 is 15, add 15 to that, we get 64, the square root of 64 is equal to 8, and so forth which is a really interesting pattern, and it can help us figure out quickly, without a calculator, what the square root it is for a number between 0 and 1,000, basically, or between 0 and 1024, that gives us all the square roots all the way up to 32, or at least the answers of square root all the way up to 32. And that is how we know.